हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द कम्पोनेंट ऑफ दिस स्टील टाइप सेमी थ्रू ट्रस विच इज सपोर्टिंग अ माइनर डिस्ट्रिक्ट रोड ऑफ ओवरऑल वर्थ फोर पॉइंट फाइव मीटर्स एंड ऑल्सो द नेचर ऑफ फोर्सेज दैट दीज कम्पोनेंट्स जनरली टेक वेन सब्जेक्टेड टू वर्टिकल लोड्स एंड माइनर लेटर लोड्स मे बी ड्यू टू विंड और सिजमिक एक्टिविटीज और अनबैलेंस्ड ट्रैफिक मूवमेंट ऑन द डेक ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर now discussing about the components the topmost component that you can see which is running parallel to the roadway is called top cord and it is always subjected to compressive forces the member which is just parallel to the top cord and at the bottom of this entire structure is normally known as the bottom cord member and it is always subjected to tensile forces now the vertical members or the suspenders as many people refer to them as uh, also play a great role in withstanding the forces and they are more or less subjected to tensile forces as well however the diagonal members that we are seeing here between the first vertical and the last vertical they undergo a reversal of stresses uh, due to the movement of traffic and also due to other forces uh, like the wind and may be the seismic effect as well so they are normally carrying the compressive and the tensile forces uh to which we refer to as the reversal of stresses in these members and since they carry they are the longest they are the longest member when compared with the verticals their design more or less governs with the compression checks of the steel structure because uh, if they are uh, very large may be buckling and all issues generally arise due to reversal of stresses mostly because of compressive forces now these were the uh, these were the basic components of the steel truss and nevertheless now the now i will tell you the, about the minor components which do play a very vital role for example this bottom braces this bottom bracing which is connected at the bottom flange of the bottom cord at, at both the ends and then it is just spanning throughout the span 